Well, I've had quite a long career as a historian. So uh, I've met a lot of historians whom I admire and who've impressed me in, in various ways. Um, German historians like Hans Ulrich Wehler, for example, whom I disagreed with him, and we had a lot of arguments, was always willing to make it up afterwards, and, and on a personal level was always extremely friendly, and he was extremely stimulating to, to argue with. Hugh Trevor Roper, who taught me in Oxford, uh, was again a controversial figure. Uh, some of his ideas I didn't agree with, but he always made you think, uh, and always uh, was always very provocative. That's what I like in a, a, a historian, somebody who makes you think and provokes you to reconsider your own ideas. Uh, the economic historian, Sir John Habakkuk, who was, I think, uh, possibly, who was, I think, possibly the cleverest m man I, I, I've met. His articles often contained as much as you find in someone else's books. Um, and I got to know him very well because he was head of the college where I was an undergraduate in, in, in Oxford. Uh, I, I could go on. There's plenty, you know, there are so many wonderful historians, particularly British historians, like Ian Kershaw, for example, who, who wrote a fantastic biography of, of Hitler. Or um, I love the uh, work of Richard Cobb, the historian of the French Revolution, although he is fairly impossible as a person, mainly because he was never knowingly sober. And uh, Maurice Keane, who taught me about the Crusades and medieval Europe, who is a, just a wonderful teacher. Um, many others.